To balance the equation, Fe2O3 plus H2, let's count the atoms up on both sides of the equation. We have two iron atoms, three oxygens, and then two hydrogens. On the product side, we have the three irons, four oxygens, and don't forget this oxygen here. So we have a total of five oxygen atoms. And then hydrogens, we have two. So when I have odd numbers here, it's helpful to try to get them to be even. So with this three here, I think I'm just gonna multiply the Fe3O4 by a coefficient of two. Now three times two, that'll give me six. That's helpful. I do need to update my oxygens though. So I have four times two is eight, plus I have the one oxygen here. So I have nine oxygens. But at least now I can fix the irons by putting a three in front of the Fe2O3. Because I have two times three, that gives me six. The irons are balanced. I do need to update the oxygens because this three applies to everything. But three times three, that gives me nine. And now all of a sudden this equation is balanced. If you had problems, it may be because you didn't count this last oxygen over here in the water on the product side. That's pretty common. And then when you have an odd number, it's sometimes helpful to try to get that to be an even number and things can tend to just fall into place. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for iron three oxide plus hydrogen gas. Thanks for watching.